So in this lesson, let's get an easy introduction to the concepts of lines, line segments, rays, vertices, and angles. Well, let's get right into it then. In math, the concept of a line isn't just whatever we draw with a pencil. Instead, a line is defined as being straight, with no curves, and never ending on either sides. However, if the line was not never ending, but instead had two specific endpoints, like so, then we would not call this a line anymore. Instead, we would call this a line segment. Awesome! Now I want to stress that a line segment is similar to a line, only that both sides of the line has endpoints. However, if only one side had an endpoint, and the other extended to infinity, we would call that a ray instead. Now, lines, rays, or line segments can come together to form something called a vertex. In this case, as we can see, we've got two line segments that come together at this point, or shall I say this, vertex. Cool! So, now I want us to take a look at another example of two sets of line segments coming together. Notice how these line segments come very close to each other, while these ones come together very far apart from each other? Well, we can actually measure the distance of each of these with what we call angles. Now, clearly, this angle here is greater than this angle. So, I'm sure we've all heard the expression, rotating 360 degrees, but this expression actually applies for math as well. To have an angle of 360 degrees is exactly one full circular rotation, where each degree accounts for a certain amount of angling rotation. And instead, if we were looking at half of 360 degrees, which would be 180 degrees, we would be looking at half of the rotation of a circle. And of course, what we end up with is the two line segments creating just one flat line segment. And naturally, half of 180 degrees is 90 degrees for an angle that looks like this, which is actually quite special as we will learn in the near future. Therefore, we have a special way to show this angle and it is by drawing in these two little lines in order to create sort of a box to show that the angle is exactly 90 degrees, or shall I say, exactly like a box. Awesome! Now, before we try a question together, let's just quickly go over how we usually refer to an angle. For example, in this triangle, if the vertices were labeled with P, Q, and R, then their opposite sides would be labeled with their respective lowercase letters, like so. Now, if we wanted to refer to this angle, then we can just call it angle QPR or angle RPQ. Either way, as long as the P is in the middle, we know that it's referring to this angle here, labeled as P. Great! So if we were given these two angles, which one would you say is the larger angle? This one? Or this one? Well, it would be angle ABC, since as we can see this angle is almost 180 degrees, while this angle is just a bit larger than 90 degrees, making it quite smaller than this one. Awesome! Well, that's the end of this lesson. We hope you guys get used to these terminologies, which will be used over and over again in future discussions and concepts in math. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>